It is a beautiful bird. It is the black-bellied bustard, champagne bird. And what I would like to address at this stage is the markings on the back of its head. And it and its relatively close relative, the red-crested Kohan, have got that sort of snake-like design on the back of their heads, and I'm sure it's for situations precisely as it finds itself in now. Walking through the long summer grass, and I imagine if you were a predator that might want to eat a black-bellied bustard, you might think, if you gave it just a glance, that that was a sort of, um, maybe an Egyptian cobra flying through, <laughs> flying through the grass. That was very cool to see. Let's see if he comes out. He. I think it's a he. Oh, that's wonderful. Watch out, Chandra. It seems to be about to charge us. Don't be afraid, see? Be brave. And the most glorious light there, isn't it lovely? <laughs> Did you get that, everybody? Never get tired of hearing this bird call. Marvellously amusing. What? <laughs> It is a very beautiful morning, and I think it's going to be an absolute cooker, Mr. Bustard. Yes, a cooker, that's what I said. Yeah, you're going to have to find some shade. He looks a bit surprised with life, I find. And I think he'll do his call again now. It's a territorial marker telling all the other Bustards where he is. Strange coloration and largely evolved, of course, to attract the opposite sex. There it goes. 